Welcome back to Nineworks TV and what is a product special? I'm here at Heritage Parts Centre which is home to over 25,000 VW and Porsche parts and today we're going to be looking at some key maintenance and upgrade products for your air-cooled Porsche. <music> Now, I'm gonna start by saying that everything we're gonna look at in today's video, I'm gonna drop part numbers in the comments below, along with some direct links you can take a look for yourself. The other thing I'd like to point out is you can get 10% off all products at Heritage Parts Center. Just make sure you type in the code 9works10 at the checkout to activate that 10% discount. And that is via heritagepartscenter.com. You've also got access to all of these parts today via the 9works shop, which is accessible via 9works.co.uk. Let's get down to business then. And the reason I want to study air-cooled cars and air-cooled products in today's video is because, well, some of the oldest 911s and 912s and everything else are up to 60 years old now. Even the youngest air-cooled Porsches like the 993 are pretty much three decades old. And there's gonna be things that have worn or perished or just outright need replacing. It's important to maintain these cars properly because as we all know, air-cooled Porsches, values of them have increased substantially over the last five to 10 years. So to maintain the value of the car, it's important that you invest a little bit to keep them in tip-top condition. And it also means you as owners and drivers can get the very best out of them while you own the car. Let's take a look at what we got today. First thing I'm gonna start with is steering wheels. And this is a really, really good, true and faithful remake of the original long bonnet era car. So that's the 65 to 73 era, A series to F series 911s. 395 mil diameter was the uh, stock diameter of the factory wheels. And again, this is mimicked wonderfully by SSP, which are stocked here at Heritage Parts Center. Obviously you've got options, whether it's genuine mahogany or black leather wrapped wheels. Again, the early stuff, prone to perishing, these are all kind of 50, 60 year old 911s now. You can either spend a lot of money getting them refurbished, or to be honest, you can just buy a new one. And these SSP wheels, as I say, they're really good, faithful recreation. Quality is awesome as well. I'm really impressed with the quality of the stitching around this leather wheel. Okay, nice, easy, cheap win for your classic Porsche 911 or 912. You get in the car, this is what you spend most of the time touching. So get a nice, simple upgrade on that and you can improve the feel of your classic 911. Incidentally, the boss kit comes with these as well, so it's all kind of a one-piece job. You will need, though, however, to buy the horn push separately. Moving on, next on the list, heat exchanger. Now, these are a mainstay of the air cool cars, aren't they? And these lovely little things ensure that you have heat on the interior of your Porsche 911 or 912. Now, again, due to the age of some of these cars, your heat exchangers are very likely gonna be knackered. If you're gonna replace them, you might as well go stainless steel. Longevity is very much the aim of the game when it comes to air-cooled Porsches, 911 or 912. This heat exchanger here, it's actually made by Dansk. This one's actually a G-series uh, heat exchanger, so that covers 911s from 1974 up to 1989, but the reality is any air-cooled 911 from 1964, 65 up to 89, Dansk will cover you for. This one, stainless steel, again, if you want to stay warm in your 911, you need properly working heat exchangers that aren't perished. If you want to stay warm in your 911 for years to come, you might as well upgrade and go for stainless steel. Staying with the theme of exhaust, it's the main product on your screen at the moment, isn't it? It's the Vintage Speed Merged Exhaust. It's the full exhaust system. This particular system, which is for 65 to 73, so again, the long bonnet era of 911, this is for those cars that don't have heat exchangers, okay? It's worth just checking the Heritage Parts website to make sure you get the right exhaust system for you. But as I say, and I wanna just try and shimmy that without anything knocking, again, just looking at the welds on the manifolds, I am pretty impressed. The exhaust itself, 150 millimeter diameter silencer, which basically gives a sweet spot between max power plus quietness. It's not so droney um, on longer journeys. There's clear engineering thought has gone into this. It's got a 38 millimeter merge headers for up to 200 horsepower. So again, that's a really kind of nice figure for those early long bonnet 911s. And even better, it comes with a five year, five year manufacturer warranty. Now the system is stainless steel, again, just like the heat exchangers. If you're gonna upgrade these sorts of things underneath your classic Porsche, you might as well go for stainless steel. Again, longevity really is the name of the game. Now as I say, it's a merged system with center exit tailpipes, kind of for that outlaw style, if you like. 
This system here has uh, the exhaust tips of 35 mil apart. There is a reciprocating exhaust system on the Heritage Parts Centre and Nine Works shop websites that has the tailpipes 500 mil apart. So slightly wider again, just for perhaps more of a RSR or ST type look. Great look, super build quality, great potential for power upgrades as well. There's a lot to like about this vintage speed exhaust for early Porsche 911s. All right, let's go and whip this down. <laughs> Moving on, where are we at? Right, yes, this is a good one. Now this will come on to just a wider theme for body panels. And again, these cars, many years old now. The reality is some rot is gonna be setting in, some of which you'll be able to see, some of which you won't. And if you're doing a restoration or undertaking one, we all know how these things go. I'm sure Project Creep was invented for the whole idea of restoring an air-cooled Porsche. This is a nice little example here. So what I've got here is a windscreen frame corner repair, and this is for 930 turbos from 1975 to 1989, 912s and 911s of any generation from 65 up to 89. We all know there's a real crossover of parts for air-cooled Porsche 911s. Put this in situ, so we're at the bottom of the A-pillar here on the driver's side. It's a known area of rot along here. You might be able to see, if you check your air-cooled Porsche, you might be able to see some bubbling of the paintwork. It's probably hiding a lot underneath there, but in any case, it's a bit of a weak spot for these older cars in terms of collecting moisture, which turns to rust, of course. You don't have to replace the whole windscreen frame. You can just get the corner repair. This is from Dansk. Now, the theme of replacement panels, it starts for something as kind of small and dainty as this, and it can go right the way up, particularly with the dance catalogue, right the way up to full front wings. The reality is, if you need it, you can get it. Check the Heritage Parts Centre website or of course, nineworks.co.uk. And again, this is where, and it depends on what sort of restoration that you're undertaking with your Porsche, you can go a faithful restoration, or you can perhaps do a backdate project, or you can go for the turbo look, RS or RSR look. All of these parts are interchangeable. And on that note, we're gonna look at the different profiles of some wings. So as you can see, we've got two Dansk panels, rear quarters or rear arches for the early 911s. This is any air-cooled 911 really from 65 to 89. That whole era features interchangeable parts, even 964 as well, really. The torsion bar cover for context left on so we can see what's what. And as you can see from this one, first of all, this is a wing with an RS profile. So if you're doing an RS replica, this is exactly what you need. You can tell that this is an RS wing uh, for two reasons. First of all, you've got that lovely, slender, slim profile of the arch itself, but also a clear giveaway of the RS cars, particularly uh, faithful replications such as this. You've got that pinch point at 10 and two where there's just that little nick on the arch, as you can see here. So this is a lovely, faithful recreation from Dansk. It's a lot cheaper than the original part from Porsche Classic, of course. If an RS replica or RS style arch isn't for you, well, Dansk do this. The big boy, the turbo steel arch. Now again, we've explained the uh, profile and outline of an RS arch. The turbo, as I'm sure you all know, has that lovely thick leading edge of its arch there, as you can say, super thick all the way around. This is the iconic turbo arches. Again, if you've got a narrow body car and you want that turbo look, pretty simple. You need one of these, this will give you that iconic turbo profile. If I spin this around as well, hopefully you can get some sort of context there. There's that lovely wide body that the 930 was known for. Compare and contrast that with the slightly wider than the F-Series narrow body, but still nevertheless narrow compared to the turbo of the Carrera 2.7 RS. It really is a case of pick your poison when it comes to replacing or upgrading or backdating, whatever it is you wanna be doing with the body of your air-cooled 911. Check out the full range, all on heritagepartscentre.com and the nineworks.co.uk shop. Let's get back to the other products. Last, but by no means least, and this is a real quick win, door hinges. If your air-cooled Porsche is suffering from saggy doors, you can see this, by the way, just look at the shut lines around the door. If the gaps are different, the likelihood is, and certainly the first thing you should do, is replace the door hinges and see if that helps. It should also help with more of a smoother motion when you're opening and closing your doors. The simple fix is new door hinges. That pretty much is about it. There is a whole host of parts available, again, on the Heritage Parts Centre website and on the nineworks.co.uk online shop. I'm keen to hear your stories for your restoration. Put them in the comments below. 
any howlers you've had, any funny stories, any good hints and tips for other people embarking on a home build DIY restoration project. Don't forget, when you're checking out at heritagepastcentre.com, pop Nineworks 10 in the checkout for 10% off. Thanks very much for watching this part special. We'll see you again soon.